Warrington and I will be showing you how to make shortbread cookies. We're going to need a pound of unsalted butter, preferably room temperature, so it's easier to whip. And then we'll need one cup of powdered sugar and three and three fourths cup all purpose flour with some extra because you might need some. Actually, before that, we're going to need to set the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit so it can be ready by the time we're ready to bake the cookies. So first, we're going to mix the softened butter and sugar together until it's blended well together. By the time it's blended, it should be a um, light, airy, whipped kind of mixture. And after that, you're going to add in the flour. Um, I prefer to use my hands and um, blend it all together and make sure it's all mixed. Would be this um, first using the spoon to um, initially get it all together and then using your hands to finish the job. That, um, to test the consistency, you're going to want to um, pick up a walnut sized piece and roll it together in your hands but um, not too hard just into a bowl and then uh, lightly flatten it between your palms and um, if it flattens too easy add some more flour just kind of um, you know a little cup or not a cup but one fourth cup and um, it helps if you close your eyes and just feel the dough Become one with the dough. As you're testing dough, as I said, uh, you're going to want to lightly press it between your palms. And if the dough slightly cracks at the edges, the dough is just right. And you do not want to add more than one fourth cup flour because then it'll just taste like a flour cookie and no one wants a flour cookie. Spreading the dough, you're going to be wanting to do um, uh, 30 to 36 walnuts, walnut sized pieces because when you um, place them on the pan, they won't spread out a lot. And you want to roll it in your palms, like I said before, and you'll form little balls. You'll place the balls on an ungreased cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. It's important to do a parchment paper because you can continue to using the paper to use the paper after you've um, after each batch and um, after you place the cookies on the pan you'll want to take a large fork or if you don't have a large fork a normal sized fork is fine and very important you need to dip it in the flour or just put up some flour on a plate and dip the fork in the flour and press it onto the cookie. When you do that, it'll take its shape like in the picture. And um, the dough should be about 3 fourths inches high because um, if it's too thin, it'll overcook and it won't cook evenly or correctly. And I want to bank the cookies at 325 degrees for about 15 minutes. Now my oven isn't very um isn't doesn't heat very well so about halfway through i take it out and turn it around and um so that way the cookies will bake evenly and when they're finished the bottom should be golden brown while the tops are still white so you'll want them to be all brown or it's completely overcooked you know probably should start over and after they're cooked also you need to have let them cool three minutes before removing them from the pan or they'll crumble and they won't turn out right. So um, after you remove them from the pan, just transfer them to a cooling rack. You've now made a delicious homemade shortbread cookie, courtesy of my grandpa. Enjoy your cookies!